This valve is a three function valve to use with tractors up to 80 horsepower. What's nice about it is it only has two joysticks. This joystick controls the loader and the bucket. And then this one controls the grapple if you are adding a grapple to the bucket on your loader. Another nice feature about this valve is that it has the ability to be set up as open center, closed center, or power beyond. And this video is going to show how to do that. The most common way that this valve will be set up with a tractor is going to be open center. You receive it with it set up from the factory with the pressure set correctly. It's set at 2,500 PSI. And then the only thing you need to do to make it open center is just add a number eight O-ring plug, which we actually supply with the valve into this port here. And I'm just showing it finger tightened for the video, but of course you would use a wrench to tighten that. And then once you have the that plug in, that makes it open center. And actually when you have it set up open center, you can use either this port or this port to the tank. And you can switch depending on how you have your valve arranged and how you have it mounted and what works best for where your hoses go. And then you can put this plug here if you want to. And then your tank hose can go here. And then this port is your pressure port. You can actually use this port or this port for your pressure hose. When you have a closed center hydraulic system, you're going to be using the Power Beyond sleeve and then also an O-ring plug in the top of the sleeve. And again, I'm just finger tightening for the sake of the video. And of course you would tighten that with a wrench. And then the Power Beyond sleeve with the plug on top does need to go into this port with a closed center system. Again, I'm just finger tightening it for the video, but you would use a wrench, of course, to tighten that down nice. And then this port would go to the tank for a closed center setup. Um, again, though, this port down here or this port can be used for the pressure also with a closed center setup. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten this sleeve down. Okay, so this is now set up as closed center. You get the Power Beyond sleeve with the number six O-ring plug in it, and we do supply both the sleeve and the plug with this valve. So the, the way that the plugs are installed with the Power Beyond sleeve and the plug on top makes this closed center. The only other thing you have to do when you're installing this valve on a closed center tractor is you do need to adjust the pressure relief valve. So again, if you're working with open center, you don't need to do anything. In fact, you shouldn't touch the pressure relief valve. But if you are installing it on a closed center tractor, then you need to adjust the pressure relief valve all the way in so that the tractor's hydraulics are supplying the pressure and that no pressure is being created by the valve itself. There's a few steps for doing that. The first thing you want to do is remove the cap. First, we need to put the cap back on, so just set that aside in a good spot and then remove the washer. And then there's a jam nut that you'll want to remove. And then it requires a Allen wrench to tighten this internal screw all the way down. Now that that's tightened down, you can go ahead and replace the jam nut. So we've got the jam nut on and the washer and cap, which we removed. Now there's not going to be enough room to put the washer in and the cap, so we'll just leave the washer off and go ahead and put the cap back on and tighten that. Alright, so this valve is now set up for closed center hydraulics. You've got the Power Beyond sleeve with the cap in it, 
and the pressure relief valve is all the way turned in, and so this can now be used with a closed center tractor. The last thing to show is a uh, power beyond setup, the pressure relief valve, how you received it, which was set from the factory at 2500 PSI. And you have the sleeve installed, but then of course you don't have the cap in the top. You would just attach the hose to the power beyond. This port up here has to be used for the sleeve, the power beyond sleeve. And then your hose would need a number six O-ring boss fitting to be attached to the port on the end of the power beyond sleeve. And then this, either of these two ports could be used for pressure when set up with power beyond.